How well do you appreciate life? Have you ever sat down and thought this over? I think majority of us would say, my life is good, or could be better. And I totally agree with it. But the truth is, we don't truly really value the little things in life that matters, such as having a roof over our head, three meals a day, education, etc. So today, I will be taking your minds back to have a reflection on the value of life. And by doing so, I'll be discussing about one of the major problems we are facing today globally, which I'm very passionate and eager to provide a solution for poverty. Theoretically, we are all equal. According to UNICEF Declaration of the Rights of the Child, it states, every child has rights to education, protection, healthcare, good nutrition and shelter. But millions of children are denied the fair chance to live normal. Why? Because they were born into a family with inadequate financial assistance. Our world seems not to be fair. I will show you some facts. According to the World Bank, 1 in 10 people live on less than $1.90 per day. What can you buy for $1.90? I think it's not enough for your daily coffee on your way to school or work, according to UNICEF and World Health Organization. In 2018, 6.2 million children died, mostly from preventable causes. What's more, 810 women die each day from causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. Many of these deaths could be avoided, but there are no healthcare in extreme poverty. 150 million children under 5 are stunted. Why? Because of malnutrition. An estimated 670 million children and adolescents are unable to reach minimum proficiency levels in mathematics and reading. Even though two thirds of them are in school. But they come to school hungry, sick and exhausted from work to benefit from their lessons. In my opinion, problems like malnutrition, lack of money and lack of healthcare are based on lack of education. I would like to explain my point. If people are not educated, and I'm not talking about high school or college, I'm talking about primary school, life skills and social skills. They cannot get a job, so there are no healthcare. They don't have money and they cannot provide food. So there are malnutrition. We need to start helping by making donations to charity organizations like UNICEF, regardless of amount. The population of our world is over 7 billion. Imagine if everyone donate at least one dollar every month. It will be a huge difference. And one dollar is exactly nothing for you. 7 billion multiplied by 12 months, it will be 84 billion dollars. In a period of 10 years, it will be 840 billion dollars. That will make a poverty a forgotten history. We have to create job opportunities by organizing workshops for the adults to learn handiworks and work as repairmen and janitors. It's important to provide quality education with good teachers, places to learn education materials, good infrastructure and stationery such as books, notebooks, pencils, etc volunteering. For example, during the summer you can go there to teach lovely kids in so many ways, not only school education, but life skills, social skills and creational skills. And most importantly, providing nutrition food with all the entire classes of food available such as protein, carbohydrate, water, vitamin and minerals. Everybody on this planet matters. I believe that poverty is a solvable problem and we can solve it, we can pull them out of extreme poverty. Many people don't feel obligated to help dying people they can see, but poverty is a global problem. If you think you are one person you can change anything, you are wrong. Every small helps make a big impact. You might say it doesn't concern you, or it's not your problem, but take a look around yourself and the environment. What if it happens there? Let it be a food for thought.